Hi. This is the face behind all the videos you see on channel Beast Frame on YouTube. And this is my glasses. Although I'm not wearing them because obviously contact lenses. So, yeah, that really doesn't matter too much. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because it is exactly two years ago since I uploaded my first ever battle to this channel. And I wanted to just say a big thank you f to everyone who's been following my channel. Uh, I really, I really, I really appreciate it. You guys have been giving a lot of great support, let me tell you that. Uh, and uh, you guys have been encouraging me a lot. And I wish I could have uploaded more of these last weeks, but school has been pissing me off, let me tell you that. It has been terrible. But anyways, you guys are still backing me up, which I really do appreciate. And, uh... I just wanted to say thank you, so I'll probably like leave a collection or a montage of a bunch of clips from my older battles to my newest, so yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that, and I will see you guys later, and once again, thank you for everything, and bye bye. What's up, everybody? Um, this is a battle against uh, my first wife. I battle against Walter Reborn. Um, I'll lay off with my ex face. He leads off with the Geroda. He goes for the um, Leech Seer for the trick. Trick him an Iron Ball because I know that that thing is very fast. And yeah, but surprisingly, he still outspeeds me. Go down all the way to my sturdy. So yeah, um, I miss clicking over the Volt Change or the Volt Switch. I was actually gonna go for the South Rocks, but that really sucks, but, uh, whatever. Um, I go for the Stone Edge, thinking he might switch it into his Dragon Eyes, but, um, that's not what's gonna happen. I should, should've went for the Outrage or the Earthquake. Over-predicting too early in the game is not good at all. Go for the U-turn, and I'm gonna get the hell out of there. I'm gonna go into my Swag Sire, and he goes for the Slack Off, and gets all his health back. So, that kinda sucks, but... I believe I go for the yawn and the thing gets dowsy and yeah so he gets some leftovers and he gets for the yawn on me which I've never seen on a slow bro before which yeah but yeah uh, I predict this really Chuck Norris move but yeah so he's gonna go for the light screen and I'm like fuck it's a dual screener so I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for the shelf rocks because I know he's gonna go for the reflect so I'm gonna go for the south rocks this uh, this turn so uh, yeah, that's quite nice. So, I'm gonna switch out of there this turn, I believe, into my mill tank because I don't want him to, like, I don't know. Because I want to talk. It gets it in a Arcanine, and uh, I'm gonna switch out of there because I'm locked into Leaf turn, so that kind of sucks. But um, I'm gonna switch out of there into some exit time because I knew the Flare Blitz was coming. But um, he switches out of there into his Rotom Wash, or Rotom, I'm sorry, Rotom Cut. Good plan is part because he predicted my switch into that, so. I'm gonna set in Shave Wild again as he goes for the Leaf Storm. It's gonna do like nothing to me. Well, I predicted switch into something. I don't know what it was, but I predicted predict switch. Go for the Psychic. Choice Spec Psychic. <coughs> Damn, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. I just woke up and I just want to commentate this real quick. I went for the Psychic just because I predict, predict, predicted the switch. I do have the HP Fire though, which I could have went for and just easily kill it off, but I didn't. So that was kind of bad play right there. But yeah, <clears throat> now he's ending this thing again, and I do have a Pokemon yeah, healing. Yeah, kind of I put on in this thing, then uh, you're a fucking genius, you know. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I got my Entei Entei chilling here because I can't really do too much with uh, that freaking throw I got in there. So, uh, I was gonna go ahead and taunt my Entei. I really don't care though because uh, I am a choice scarfed Entei, so that's gonna be quite nice. Now I'll go for the Flare Blitz on that Suicune, which is not gonna do much at all, obviously. Right but unfortunately though, that was the only thing I had for his Gastrodon, which he's gonna send in later on. Uh, but you'll see later on. So, now he's gonna go into his Heatran, and I was thinking about going for the Hidden Power Ground. But, um, you know, I thought that Heatran might have a Balloon, so I did not want to go for the Hidden Power Ground. But, you know, I, I, I really don't care about that at all. Because the Blizzard still does a 
pretty nice chunk considering that is times yeah, for on much rim, which really sucks. Since that's gonna take me out in one shot, I was hoping he would go for the outrage on my dragon eye. Actually, since I would rather keep this shroom right here, since this shroom actually has hidden power eyes, so that would have been very awesome right there. But uh, shroom is gonna end up dying, and uh, dragon eyes getting confused, and uh, thankfully they'll break through the confusion, which is pretty nice. But uh, this outrage though is gonna do literally nothing. Guys, in the comments outrage. below, if you've had any te teachers like that or have any teachers like that, I would. You know, I, I would really like to read them, you know, since, you know, I like reading comments from you guys. But yeah, uh, one more thing I want to talk about is about likes and dislikes and rating in general. And um, a lot of people might already know this, but I know a lot of my subscribers don't know about this. Um, and that is that liking a video actually helps out a ton. And, um, you know, that his outrage is going to kill me off easily because he's at plus one and he, it's stab and stuff. So I'm going to surprise him right here and I'm going to smack him back with the ice beam or not ice beam but ice punch and I'm gonna finish him off in one shot and um, you know that that kind of pissed him off cuz um, you know he did not expect at all that I would be like a choice scarf variant he thought I was choice bandit all the time so he's gonna set his sludge bomb until I think dies and uh, fortunately for me does not wake up which was kind of lucky I was kind of taking a lot of risks right there cuz he could have potentially woken up anytime I could have been kind of a lucky but you know I was like in a um, or he didn't uh, wake up at all, so that's pretty nice. So, he's gonna send in his uh, Grumpig right here, and I'm gonna have to switch out of there right now, because I don't want to take a psychic to the face. So I'm gonna send in Persian. Like, why? Why? Why does that always happen with me? But whatever, so I know he's gonna take himself out of there with the life orbs. I tried to go for the substitute, but, you know, I'm, I'm barely uh, below the health where I, I cannot set up the substitute. I don't know really what I said there. You guys probably didn't understand that, but after leftovers, I would have definitely been able to set up a substitute right there. So that kind of sucked, but you know, I just got to deal with it, you know. So I'm going to send a scissor. If, you know, he sends in one of those things, and he does have a Mewtwo, which most likely does have Thunder. Uh, so I decided just to fodder out this thing. I really don't want to uh, risk anything and switch out into Garchomp or something just to take the Thunder, because, you know, he could over predict and just go for the Ice Beam, because these, these things do tend to run Ice Beam, you know. So I'm going to send in Garchomp this turn. And um, I'm just gonna try to go for the Aqua Tail actually because you know it's um, and if he switched out of there, uh, I don't know really what he would switch out into, but if he sent in his um, Landurus or Landrus, uh, then it will be an easy KO for me, and that is exactly what happens. That was not a prediction. That was a lucky play, all right. That was a lucky play. So he's gonna send in his Swamper this turn. And I obviously don't want to stay in here because he, you know, both of his stabs are out of there into Zatu. So, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out of there into my Scavalier this turn because uh, I was thinking this thing was some sort of light screening or something, and um, that that really not be too good for me at all if he set up those light screens and stuff. So, get a send in the Scavalier. Turns turns out that it does not have the light screen or reflect. Um, he actually has a Thunder Wave and. Uh, Gonna make a smart play right here and get a predict yes, switch. Out. Get a switch out of there as I set on my road and watch. I go for the volt switch. It's gotta do a decent chunk against his melodic. And now I'm gonna set on my Metagross because I actually do have two Pokemon on my team that has stealth rocks. Because I know that might sound a little bit weird, but it just makes my team a little bit more versatile. So I can I have a, a lot uh, I have a much bigger chance of actually setting up stealth rocks during that game. And it actually tends to work out quite nice. Thank you.